All right, <clears throat> so we are picking up on the Mark Tube step of this rocket. You um, you don't need to prepare the fins. We've already done the engine mount. Um, so what I did is I cut this page out from the directions and we're gonna tape it around like this. Um, I cut it exactly where the lines are, as precise as I can. I'm gonna put this gray part on the bottom. And it says that we're just taping it and then extending the line. So if you have some clear tape, do that. Um, if you get the corners lined up, then that means it should be straight. I recommend getting your tape out before holding the line because this is proving an issue for me. And all right, so now I have this taped up. Our next step is to clear tape, yep, and then extend the lines. So we're taking these lines and with a straight edge, we're gonna extend the lines. So I'm gonna just draw these lines out on those lines with the straight edge and I'll pop back to you when I'm done with that. All right, so what I did is I just marked lines on each end of these lines, and then I'm going to connect them up. So first thing I'm gonna do is where it says LL, I'm just gonna write LL on both sides, just so I don't lose track if that has an important meaning. You might not have to do this yet. I'll let you know later. But I like to be overly cautious. So um, like this, I wrote FL and LL and um, I'll keep doing that with the other ones. So be back in a second. Okay, so it's pretty hard to draw on a curved surface. So what I did is I just made dotted lines all along here, um, just using the light. You see how it's like reflecting on a smooth line where the apex of the curve is. I just did that. And um, FL is a thin line. So these are in, in quarter positions. There's four of them around like that. Um, so the, the lines are pretty important if your fins aren't on you know, the 90 degree angles, um, it won't fly straight. So rather than making a, a curve line with a straight edge that will probably deviate from the curve, I just did these dot, dot, dots everywhere. So, you know, I can easily visualize those lines connecting and put it on the right mark when we put the fins on later. So that's what I did. And the next step is to install the engine mount inside this tube. So being that I did the engine mount earlier today and it has a 24 hour cure time, I'm going to wait to do that until later tonight, um, as late as possible to give it the most time to cure because you know we're sticking it in this tube and I don't want it to get stuck on a piece of this cardboard and break. So be back in a few hours. All right, so we're now on the step of installing engine mount this one right here so our first step is to coat the inside of this tube and I'm just putting it in the top of a coffee mug so that it can kind of stay upright and we want the engine mount to peek out of it like just a little bit so I want to make sure I get down to this depth for glue right there um, 
and make a circle all around. I think you can go pretty heavy on the glue, so I'm just kind of measuring this with my hand. Um, I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm going to make two passes to make sure I get glue on all sides. And um, you know, it's it's really not the best. It's hard to squeeze this thing. But we will. You know, it's like it comes out in beads. Um, but yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll try our best here. So I'm going to stick this down with the uh, clip side outwards. And I'm having issues getting the top cap through. I wish it just stayed flush like that. I don't want you to go in a little bit. I think maybe I'm wrong. Definitely seems like they want you to go in. Um, You know what? I think that'll work. Kind of looks like what it does in the diagram. It's just not this out, outer. It just won't go down anymore. I don't like these aren't the best directions, so it's hard to tell. Um, I do think you want to go in a little bit. I just really don't want to break my engine mount. Maybe I can pull it from this. Uh, it's, just not happening. Thank you, dogs. There we go. All right, I finally got it in a little bit. So now I'm going to apply some glue to this outer edge to get it to bond. Um, all right. I'm doing a better job this time of uh, not getting glue on myself, so let's go. I hope you're enjoying the battle royale in the background behind the, uh, the vacuum cleaner. So we've got this like that. I think that looks great. Um, that looks like what the picture says. And uh, now our next task is to put on the fins. So I'm just going to take these balsa wood fins and stick them on the end here. That's why I got my coffee mug out so I can rest it like this. I just have the fins glued in. So uh, then this all needs to dry. So we'll pick up with um, the rest of this tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to post the, the third and final video tomorrow, um, early-ish in the day, hopefully by like noon. It takes a while to make these and edit, but um, yeah, so we want to make sure we get the, the straight edge that comes to a 90 degree angle, uh, this one right here, um, connecting to the rocket. So. want to do with that. It's so hard to tell. We either want this edge. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We want this edge. So if I do, if I do it like this, then I get a flat surface. You see how this line is parallel with with the top of the tube. Um, whereas if I do that, it's it comes out at an angle. We want the fins to be able to rest on the ground like a, a rocket might. So let's glue. Let's glue these ends to the tube where it says FL, where I have my FL line. So that's the fin line. So, all right. So I'm just going to do them one by one. And then we'll let it dry. So, getting out the, so this end, I'm just applying a thin coating to the whole surface of the edge. stick it on there. So FL right there. And then they want you to leave this for a whole minute connected. So I'm just literally going to hold it here for a minute. And I can't hit pause on the video yet. So you just have to suffer through. This down upside down. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way so gravity keeps it in place. Here we go. So it's already starting to bond. I'm just gonna hit pause um, and I'm just gonna lightly back apply pressure and keep this still. You know, it was really only 15 seconds and now I can't move it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a bead of glue on both sides of the fin next to the tube so it connects. And then you just repeat the process for the three other fins. You want to make sure you put them at 90 degrees of each other. This is pretty quick glue, so this should work well. Hopefully it's decently weight distributed. You can see I came off a little bit off my line at the end. So I'm, I'm a little misangled. That's not a perfect, you know, straight up and down. You can see it's off by a couple of degrees, but I'm hoping that doesn't matter too much. So just let that dry for maybe a minute and then start on the other fins. So it should take you about 10 minutes and um, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but it should be self-explanatory. Okay, I put the second fin on and I found it was actually easier to just glue the surface of the tube and then, you know, just put some medium pressure, like delicate and firm at the same time and try to make sure it's like 90 degrees that way as well. This one's a little off, but what are you going to do? You know, um, hopefully it's good enough, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the other two on and then just leave it to dry upwards. If you do this, You'll see some glue drip down the side. I got glue all the way down to here. So I just wiped off the excess with a paper towel. So do that with the other four, leave it to dry. And um, this is the end of the video. We'll pick this up tomorrow.